Whoa, ho, ladies, what the absolutely shutting hell is up? And welcome back to what is a very good celebration year. So, this actually marks the fifth year of the Sister Margie show on YouTube. That's like five long, hard, depressing years of me doing this fucking shit. So, what better way to celebrate this year than, you know, to actually throw a bit of a party? But obviously, it is the 2020s. Parties aren't exactly what they used to be. But, you know, um, I had some money left over from the last album, so I thought I'd splash the budget a little bit, you know, go all out. What's stopping me, really, apart from, you know, my own self-worth? Today, we are going to be looking back at all of the old Sister Margie videos that I've been doing, uh, which is a bit embarrassing, because, uh, what was that? Oh! <laughs> the day fell off. Oh, now I know what day it is. <laughs> Uh, March the 10th. So what we're going to be doing today is looking back in time at the original videos that I did all the way back 2016 and just seeing how bad they are to be honest because you know I've improved in my time on the YouTubes but uh, yeah. As the four of you who've actually watched the original Sister Margie videos would have known, originally I started making videos for a convent in South Wales called the Christ the Lord's Church and due to no fault of my own whatsoever it's now no longer with us. Am I to blame for this? Of course not. It's not my fault. It was Sister Aubergine. And basically, the nunnery got me to make these YouTube videos, kind of a youth outreach program, kind of like a youth engagement hostel. And as well as launching the YouTube videos, they also launched the, uh, the Facebook page called Christian Memes for Teens. And uh, back when we did the first video, it was at five likes. And now it's at absolutely staggering 5,000 likes, which is just off the golden silver chain to be honest with you. 5,000 likes turns out to be three a day for over five years which is shocking to be honest. I mean three people a day clicked like on Christian memes for teens and to be honest with you I made out two of them the rest I just stole from their did. So let's watch the first ever Sister Margie video together and just see how it holds up. It, it doesn't but you know we can we can try together. Okay so here we go the first ever Sister Margie video that came out. Ooh. Oh. So, the first thing they've asked me to do, apart from open the new Facebook page, Christian Memes for Teams, please give it a like, we have two likes so far, we like to make that three by the end of the year. We reached that goal. Now, I have no idea what an AMA is, so I'm going to go Google it. That's right, sisters aren't allowed to use phones. That's actually not true, we can use our phones as long as we don't watch pornography on them. I just used to listen to music all the time and you know, they'd think, Sister Marge, you're doing your play, you're doing your hymns, and I'd be like, that is a good name for the college job by Kanye West. I mean, I do love the church and I do love God. <laughs> Amen, sisters. No, I like the sour sweets. But not actually sour sweets, because they give me hemorrhoids, they do. Mm. Anyway, Still do. Question 3 comes in from Derek. Now, Derek lives in Manchester. Unfortunately, he's probably dead. I did find out after posting this that, in fact, Derek hadn't died yet. But on the 11th of March, he was actually hit by a bus just outside of... I don't, I don't know where it was. Manchester somewhere. You know, Greater Manchester. Why not Hull? Liverpool, it's all the same place, isn't it? I had to cut out about a minute of this video. It was a bit too offensive. What I said was just too, it was a bit too much. Even for, even for my tastes, it was a bit too severe. I did use a little bit more colourful language back then in the older days, sisters. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> for some reason, I thought the part of me spoke in a big doobie was okay. Oh, shit. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to take an absolute poo. I mean, to be honest, that outro was so bad, even the decorations killed themselves. How do you think I felt? Not great, a bit of a different era of me back then. You know, the nun lobes weren't as refined as what I've got now, and it was just a bit of a mess. However, a few weeks later, I thought that I would make a video for April Fools, because you know, what a great, what a great holiday, up there was Show Tuesday. And I was going to go around and scare, and you know, just scare the fellow nuns that I had in the nunnery. It didn't go to plan. Let's put it that way. Was the loss of life worth it? Let's find out. Jesus! Okay, so just straight off the bat, that's an intro. Classic. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus, my fucking bones! So this is, this is a good friend of mine, you know, no longer with us. 
it's on fire, Letes. The church is on fucking fire. Come on, let's go. Come on, ladies. So, next up is an actually unreleased Sister Margie video. So, yes, this is a uh, Sister Margie does Counter Strike, and it goes about as well as you can expect, to be honest. Just, just already many questions have to be raised about the intro. This is uh, Stephen Mandy, and then also here is the is the character who never got featured properly. Um, there was another video which I only filmed part of. I think I've lost the footage now, where it's going to be the three of us playing Monopoly together. But that was going to be the first appearance of our friend on the screen here. I'm bloody parched. Oh yeah, I sold my stock in GameStop and I got myself a bloody mini fridge. Best decision I've ever made. Not going to lie, Jules. Right, lovies, I'm here and I'm and I'm definitely ready to kill some terrorists. I've already killed a terrorist. Okay, I'm very good at this game. I am. I'm a nun. I'm 174 years old this year. Oh, hello. That is outright not true. I am nowhere near that old. I mean, that was just a bit shit, to be honest with you. I mean, I made this video and I'm bored of it. Next up is probably the most well-known Sister Margie video. And that is, of course, the absolutely legendary Barcelona. Oh, yes. I was on a spiritual journey to Barcelona back in 2017 and I thought to myself you know if I'm going there I'm gonna be able to get some nice photographics why not just go for it why not just you know make a song film it I actually nearly got kicked out of the Sagrada Familia the whole reason I went there you know bigger church ever known because of my uncouth behavior so yeah Barcelona took on all the sites had a nice little tour Sagrada Familia bigger church ever known buildings look like they're made out of bones all that kind of thing you know the song to be honest if you don't don't blame you it's a victim of the times like billy brown so let's just watch the old video Barcelona. so while we're here you're noting nun robes habits black pink and blue when i went there i forgot to actually pack all of the everything i remember getting there and being like shit i came here for this and i forgot in it <laughs> This bit, this bit here, this bit where I got dehabited. There was like three pillars like this, and I got the camera placer here. And I was going to go behind one, and then two, and then three. It didn't work out, especially because when I got to the third one, there was a security guard, and he was like, he was like, no. Or Catalampa, no, you know. Unless Rambas. This was filmed from a Burger King window. Sharing a meal with a couple of fellas. When we finish, you can hear me yell. It's the comida, it's tan buena. Pass it on your plate and a plate of What's your problem? Okay, so this part, I was talking about, you know, all the nice food they had in there, you know, in, in Catalonian region. And then I'm just eating a fucking McDonald's. So yes, um, <laughs> this bit here at the end, this was, um, this is just after we got told, you know, Stop being a plat. Oh, the good old Daisy. By far the most popular Sister Margie thing I've ever done was the song Clout, which I made with someone I met on Twitter at the time called Lil Rusty, who then changed the name to Young Caraca. And basically that song became very popular. So a lot of people know of Sister Margie from that video. The very beginning of that song, there's this bit that goes, Work on ladies, what's the current mother lovers? Today I'm gonna to tell you how to have clout. And that comes from an unreleased Sister Margie video. It's quite a lot of them. I think it probably outnumbers the ones that I made at this point. So there were six episodes and there were two unreleased ones. One called How to Have Clout or Fashion. I don't know what I decided to call it in the end. And one was straight after the Pepsi Blue taste test video. I um I spilt it all over the carpet. I did a little video on how to clean it up, but the audio wasn't light and I just thought, you know, the world's had enough Sister Margie for one year, you know, wait till next year and do that one episode on TikTok of a shit. The reason the video didn't get released is because the camera stopped recording uh, halfway through for the clout episode and I had a whole thing with Steven and everything. He was coming back to it. So the only other video that remains of this is this. And it's just Steven oh, trying God, to... Is it not recording? God. I'm not, I'm not very good with cameras. I'm more of a music and computer person. Thank you. 
Right, so that was definitely not a waste of time. We're now all caught up with all of the old System RG videos so that you can enjoy all of the new ones which I definitely will be trying to make this year. Next episode I'm going to be telling you about what I got up to in the year 2020 and then asking the people of the internet what they got up to in the year 2020. I'd also like to very quickly say that in one of the last episodes of this series we're going to be doing a Q&A just like the first ever video that I did. So if you could all please leave your comments in the description box below, go on Instagram and Twitter, System RGX socials, you know, or even on Christy Memes for Teens because they put a question out there. Just ask away whatever you want, any questions, no hold bars apart from, you know, naughty stuff. Give me some more content because to be honest, it's gonna be a bit shit, but you know, we can pad it out, pad it out, make it better. Anyway, thank you sisters, God bless you.